All right, everybody, welcome back to another Ask a Dev Unreal Engine tutorial. My name is Kevin. We are continuing our Control Rig Advanced Leg series. This is the Ford FK Leg Saw video. If you missed the previous videos, there should be a card around here. You may want to go back and watch those to catch up. Before we get started, if you dig what we're doing here, all all support is appreciated. Helping spread the word is amazing. We have the super stickers and super thanks down below as well as the Patreon community. We also have a vibrant community that is growing in Discord. Everybody helping out uh, each other, answering questions, etc. So with that, let's hop into our forward solve for the advanced leg. Okay, so here we are in Unreal and we have a couple little maintenance things that we need to do in order to do our forward solve. Previously, all of our FK controls were solved by that procedural loop that we did. You can see that up here where we have, we're getting all the controls and we're doing an FK solve on that. Because we're changing the way the leg works, we need to filter this list. We don't want to solve the arms for example, or the, the forward arms or legs when we're doing uh, forward arms or legs. Now we could solve them all and then basically overwrite them, but let's just Let's just be clean about this. So what I've got here is I've got a whole list of all the controls, excluding my FK leg controls. So it basically, if you just scroll this list, it's just a giant long list. Now, once we get into fully procedural stuff, that'll be easier to generate, but that's, that's step one. Step two is we need to actually plug in a forward solve because we haven't used one before, we haven't created one, but we're not going to create that from scratch because a lot of the logic that we need is built into the IK solve that we just built. So let's go ahead and grab that. And actually, before we do that, I wanna do one quick thing. I wanna change my leg IK enable. I wanna change its initial value to false so that I don't have to keep clicking back and forth and the leg will just start FK for testing purposes. All right, so let's go to our blueprint. Let's take our forward advanced IK leg and I'm going to copy paste that. And then I'm going to rename this to be FK leg. The forward advanced FK leg. And when we open that up and we take a look, we have a little bit of cleanup. There's a bunch of things that we don't need in here because this is the FK leg. For example, all of this is our ball offset our reverse foot and everything like that. We don't have that with the FK leg. We may use our foot. I think that is correct. We are going to use all of our scaling, which is great. And then we have, this is more scaling. And then we have our aim constraints. We're definitely going to use our IK. We are not going to be using. So I'm just going to delete the IK and we will connect this in. All right. Now, our leg is not gonna work right now because it will work in the sense that the leg will move, but it's not actually going to drive anything yet. So we need to actually set this up so that it is driving the FK hierarchy we created. We need that because we need that to be able to do the offset logic. All right, so we're going to do that with a loop, kind of like we've done with some of our procedural builds. So how, how does that look? Let's get all of our controls that we're passing in. So here's our control list. And with this control list, we are going to basically do a couple things. We are going to, for each one, for each one, we're going to get the name of it. And we are going to replace the underbar control with nothing. Now, if you recall, if we pass in our thigh, FK control, et cetera, FK control. If we replace underbar control with nothing, we're left with the FK. That FK is the name of our FK chain. That's what we want, all right? And then what we're going to do just to make sure, we're going to make sure that this exists. So we're going to check to make sure that if we do this, that the bone exists. If it does, then what we're going to do is we are going to set the transform. Now, what are we going to set the transform to? We are going to get the transform of the control. Remember, this is the control. And we can probably do this down here. We'll get the transform of the control and we world space is fine. World space is fine. Yes. I'm trying to convince myself. 
And then what we'll do is we will set the transform. We set the transform of this substituted item. And it is also a bone. Let's make sure we set this to bone and the name of it is going to be this guy. Add in a little bit of a mapping here. Okay, so we've set the name of it and the transform is going to get the, the value. So we just need to go through this for each loop and then when we're done, we need to go about our merry way. So let's connect this into the complete and we'll go from there. All right, so now if we compile, let's just double check to see if we are getting what the expected behavior. So far, we are not. I am expecting to see our FK leg moving. So we have missed something. So, oh, we didn't actually connect this in. Let's go ahead and double check in our rig. What we need to do is we need to, when we come into our forward leg solve, if it is not in IK right here, we're going to do our FK solve. So let's just go ahead and forward FK leg. And it is going to get a lot of the same stuff. So let's just get our bones. That's going to be here. We can plug this in, move this over. Okay, our controls is going to be a little bit different. I don't, I'm not sure what these are. These are junking things up. So let's just get rid of them. We will go ahead and I love, I just delete stuff. Hopefully I didn't need that. Okay, so let's take these and create an array. This is our controls. I'm pretty sure we don't need the nulls um, because of the FK. And then we'll go ahead and all of our up leg twists and everything are the same. So let's just go ahead and feed these in. And we'll find out if we need nulls in a second. So here's our up leg twist and our low leg twist. There we go. And we do want to do our flip axis. Now, I do want to call out, we have a little bit of a disconnect. We have flip axis set for one thing, but not for the other. So I'm going to by default not do flip axis here. And we would want to, we would want to make sure that these conform. So when you're left, you either are or are not flipped. And when you're right, you're the opposite. We'll fix that for a second. But for right now, let's just go ahead and make sure this works. So now that we've connected that inside of here, what should be happening is when we rotate our FK leg, as you can see, our I'm sorry, yeah, when we rotate our FK controls, as you can see, our FK joint chain is falling along appropriately, which is perfect, that's what we want. Now, we just need to make a couple quick updates. All of these bones should not be IK. These should be FK, we're in FK mode. So let's just substitute this out, make these FK and FK and compile that. And then when we do that, when we translate, and we rotate our knees, we have our FK. Now, interestingly enough, our, our IK is actually aligning already. So if there is some portion of that that's working, that's great. And let's just double check our foot, make sure our foot behaves properly. It does, that's fantastic. And then let's just double check our knee. Okay, perfect. Now the control that we have currently selected is our FK knee offset. So basically, very quickly by setting up our, basically by reusing all the work we did with our IK leg, our FK leg is now set up. Now, let's see how messed up our snap is as like a preview of what's coming. All right, so if we compile this, let's switch back to IK mode and we will translate our leg. You'll notice that our, our FK leg is aligning nicely. That's great. If we switch back, that's good. And then if we take our leg and we rotate it, this is where our problem's gonna come in. This is what we need to solve. If we switch back, you'll notice our knees popping. So we have a bunch of work that we need to do in order to get that set up properly. But by default, the FK leg setup was relatively painless. And we just need to set things up for the right side. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can just basically take 
our FK leg, paste it down here, make some room, and we'll double check that everything works on the right side as well. So let's take our bones, feed it into our bones, grab our controls, which are here. Just make an array out of that. Feed that into our controls. And then we have our twists, which are these bottom two. And it appears we can also get rid of those nulls. We don't need those. Okay. And then let's see what we're doing with our flip down here. We are flipping this side. All right, so let's compile that. Let's double check our right side. So to double check our right side, let's disable the IK. So now we're in FK and we missed something. So our bones, ah, we didn't actually connect it. Here we go. So that's, that's gonna be our line. And we will make some room for all this stuff so it's not too crowded. But just by connecting that already, our leg is there. Uh, let's go ahead and compile that. I wanna see what's going on with that leg. Take our right leg, put it in FK mode. Rotate it up. There we go, that's what I'm expecting. All right, and then rotate this down. And then let's just double check our knee offset as well. So even in FK mode, we have a knee offset, which is great. And it will maintain that offset as we rotate, which is awesome. So pretty quick, the FK leg forward solve was pretty straightforward. We were able to do that by reusing a bunch of this stuff from our IK solve. And all we have left is the snapping. And the snapping is definitely a challenge, but we will cover that in the next video. You should see a link here uh, in the end credits or in the, on the end screen if you want to skip straight to that. If you're still awake and you're ready to go and you're excited to keep on going, hop in. For everybody else, all feedback, comments, welcome. Drop those down in the comment section down below. And I hope to see you in an upcoming video or live stream. Take it easy.